hello guys welcome back so now we are going to basically tag input as a voice command from a user when the user tap on this icon button and when the user tap on it we have to also display an animation that is a response to the user that is your voice is basically we are taking as an input so basically we have to play a beautiful animation that is some beautiful animation we have to start displaying to the user and of course the voice we will tag and we have to just then convert that voice to text okay the user voice which we will tag as an input we will convert that voice to text that is speech to text feature so for that purpose go to the pub.dev site okay and simply search for the dependency which is speech to text and press enter so this one which is speech to text then click installing and let's copy the latest new dependency come back to your project and inside your project we have to simply paste that below the Cupertino icons just like this then we have to simply click on pub get in order to install the speech to text dependency in our this flutter project so let's wait for it so it has been installed successfully in our project now we can use that so let's come back here and now if you see this as suggestion then click on dependencies get dependencies and then here now let's create an instance of that final speech to text and let's create an instance of that we can say speech to text instance speech to text now the speech which we will take as an input from a user with the help of our speech to text so we have to as you know it will basically convert the user speech to a text so for that purpose we will create now in here uh, a variable basically we will initialize a variable to which we will assign that text as a result which we will get from the speech that is after converting the speech to text that text we have to assign to any variable any string type variable so we can simply say recorded audio string you can say recorded audio string or you can say recorded audio text and let's initialize it as an empty string then let's initialize the speech to text so for that purpose we will create a method and we can simply say initialize speech to text and it will be a synchronous function and let's initialize our speech to text so speech to text instance dot initialize and then set stat so whenever this home screen start loading that is whenever the user come here to the home screen we will call this method that is this method must be initialized this method or you can say this function must be initialized at that time so for that purpose you know that we have a built-in method in flutter which is basically by the name init stat which executes at that time so inside this we will just call our this method which is initialize speech to text then we have to implement the start listening and stop listening method so we can say start start listening now it will be a synchronous method so we can say speech to text instance dot listen on result on speech result 
on speech to text result set state and you can say focus scope dot off context dot on focus so what we do inside this method is the important thing is as I have told you that is when the user click on this icon button so we have to basically start listening to the user input as you know when the user starts speaking so that speaking we have to listen that's why with the help of our speech to text instance we start listening and as a result of that we will basically get the response you can say that is it will convert the speech the speaking of the user to text so we have to get that result which we will implement inside this method so let's implement this method quickly down here copy the same name okay so on speech to text result and guys here we have to make sure that we write the return type for our method okay it will be void that is this will not return anything similarly our start listening method will not return anything so add void to it also our initialize speech to text method it will also re return it will not return anything okay so make sure to add void to it then so that result we have to basically get using the speech recognition result and it is basically this one okay do not import this first one which is dot html let's say by mistake if you have import this one then it will add a wrong uh, it will import a wrong package which will basically cause error in your project so make sure to not select that one okay which says dot html it is basically let me write here again speech recognition result you can see first one is dot html another one is speech recognition result okay so the second one which says speech recognition result okay this one make sure to import this one if i scroll here now then you can see it is basically this one okay speech recognition result so anyways now let's name this uh, instance as uh, recognition result and with the help of that this instance we can now simply get the result which will be in text form or you can say in string form that is our speech to text it has converted the user voice command to text form and that uh, result that text we can get with the help of this recognition result instance which is an instance of the speech recognition result so how we can do that we can simply say now here that is recognition result that is with the help of this instance we can just get that result so we can say recognize words okay so it get that result that recognize word which the user speak okay it basically convert that uh, speech to text so that words we get like this and now we have to assign it to any variable so we have uh, initialized a variable a string type variable which is by the name recorded audio string so we basically assign our speech result which is now in text form we added we assign it to our this string type variable so just for the testing purposes of course we have to print it so that we can see either it is working or not let me say speech result that is the words which we will speak and then in the next line of course I will just print out the recorded audio recorded audio string now we are ready to test the application but before that we have to basically add the permissions for speech uh, for using the phone microphone for the android and for the iphone so for that purpose come back to your browser for the speech to text okay and in here click on read me let's read the documentation so if you scroll here you will find out that is the permissions